Hello, good evening. It's Dr. Solano once again and welcome to Fixation. Fixation, from the name itself, fixes a piece of tissue in a certain point of time in which the cells, individual cells of the tissue, will not further do their cellular processes. No? For example, an enzyme or a cell that is secreting um, kanang mucin once uh, once a fixative is introduced it will no longer produce mucin so what happens there are different types of fixatives what happens is they make the proteins individual proteins within the cells they make it so that it becomes rigid no so Example, this is a protein, free-flowing lang siya, moving around. The fixative tends to make it rigid by forcing it to have bonds with um, the adjacent proteins, making it rigid. Um, in a sense that it makes the structure, the architecture, more um, stable, and then there will be no longer cellular process going on, meaning ATP won't be used up no so there will be no apoptosis and then what will happen if it, um effectively a fixative kills the tissue kills the cells but it fixates it in histologically na makitan pa nato ang iyahang characteristics no so we can still see the columnar cells as columnar cells because they're fixated in that state and we can still see squamous cells as squamous cells. Another thing that the fixative does is it kills bacterial decomposition, also known as your putrefaction. It inhibits it so that the bacteria will also be killed in the area. It, it, it doesn't um, discriminate whether if it's a human tissue or bacterial, bacterial colonies. It kills everything, which is both. Uh, it, which is very beneficial for the ones handling it. The f fixation is the first step in our histopathologic process in which we eventually we pr produce a hematoxylin and aesin slide which the pathologist will read and give and based on the reading the pathologist will give a diagnosis and Always remember, the first step is always the hardest because there are a lot of things that can go wrong. So, one of the factors that can be of, um, be of, kanang, can cause pangit na mga results is wala na butang dayon ang specimen into the fixative because, like I said earlier, once there is contact with the tissue and the fixative, all cellular processes will stop but if there is a prolonged duration before you put the specimen into the fixative what will happen is that the metabolic processes within the tissue still continue and given that they are cut off from the blood supply mean blood supply meaning they will start now to use up their their ATP leading to more anaerobic processes leading to build up of lactic acid eventually forcing themselves to undergo apoptosis and if there are bacterial colonies present like i said earlier putrefaction what happens if there is apoptosis and bacterial degeneration we can no longer appreciate the histologic um, picture of those specimen uh, so it's all for naught no wala na tayo makitaan useless na that's why we should um if in the future you will become doctors and you will assist surgeries, it is a job of the junior, maybe an intern, junior doc, um, medical intern, to put the specimen directly into the uh, fixative. So it's one of the most important things now. Okay, so next slide. So like I said earlier, to preserve the tissue nearest to its living state you know we fix it at a point of time nearest to its living state to prevent any change in shape and size of the tissue at the time of processing to prevent autolysis that's 
what happens when you use up all the ATP no so individual apoptosis and then as a whole you can call it a autolysis in a tissue to make the tissue firm to hard um, it's also beneficial when processing it na, no it's because it's very hard to cut tissues when they're very soft pa what happens is we can't get uh, an adequate slide if it's still soft to prevent any bacterial growth in the tissue like I said earlier to prevent putrefaction and then to make it possible to have a clear stain to have better optical quality of the cells uh, okay so the ideal fixative what is the ideal fixative no, if we have an ideal person, then we also have an ideal fixative, no? So the ideal fixative, of course, kani sila in the pros in the unsa man in the um ang ilang um they're the ones who made this list <laughs> are from most probably in a first world country. So their primary objective is is to uh, make uh, make it as much as possible na na ice na kanang preserved jud nila ang tissue nila dito but here in the philippines it's it's the other i, I think no it's it should be uh, uh the priority should be shifted because in the philippines ppe in the histopathologic um setting although we try our best no there are of course some we cannot follow the standards so so, of course, ilahang sa list is to prevent autolysis of the cell or tissue, which is most probably that in in a, an ideal world, it's m the most kanang highest jud of regard. But here in the Philippines, ang priority jud siguro na to kay to kill any pathogens there, no? Because come to think of it, when you you receive a tissue, a piece of kanang imong panit ba na, imong appendix or imong gallbladder, na gud na dugo. No, so there are many bloodborne pathogens and then of course na yung mga occurrences na dili jud nato ma malikayan and you get um you get any kanang nasamad no any punctures so it poses a threat but luckily praise the lord most of the fixatives kill multiple uh, a wide spectrum of infectious agents except um, except one infectious agent, which we will we will talk about in a while, no. So they kill most bacteria, which will help, of course, in number two to prevent the decomposition of bacteria, your putrefaction. They also kill your viruses, no. So your HIV, your H, hepatitis B, viruses. But there is one thing that they cannot kill, no. Um, our our common our common na mga na na fixative, no. Are, what we use commonly in the Philippines no, is formalin, phosphate buffered formalin. It can kill all those patho pathogens, but it cannot kill what we call your prions. Your prions are your misfolded proteins. And these misfolded protein fragments, no, what, they, what they do, they build up in your brain. And when they build up, they occupy space. So what happens when they build up and occupy space, they replace your physiologic, your normal nervous tissue until eventually you will have neurologic symptoms, then you will kanang have kanang psychotic breakouts, eventually nakamukaon, and then you will eventually die, no? So these prions are the ones that cause your mad cow disease, no? So PR ION prions, they are the ones that cross your mad cow disease, your Kreutzfeldt Jakob disease, no, your your Kuro and your Scrapey. So, ito. so we need another type of fixative if we are considering that. And we will I will follow up on you kung kato pa ba ang ginagamit na fixative. Sige, so I, I will update you the if katupad ay ang ginagamit na fixative. But here in the Philippines, no precautions are well. Sa akong nagian, we usually don't take that into consideration. But since dili mampu dagan atong mga kaso for, for kanang mga mad cow, Kurt Feldiakob, 
but still, there is still a danger. So, number three, to maintain the volume and the shape of the cell as far as possible. So, if you put any cell outside its physiologic um, environment, there will be eventual changes in the morphology. It's really hard to to make a environment that is same as the human body because the human body is a very complex piece of work. No? Consistently high quality staining, particularly routine stain such as hematoxylin and eosin stain, and papanicolaou pop stain. No? Rapid action, cheap, and non-toxic. So your changes in your tissue after fixation, most commonly uh, volume changes. No? So th there will be shrinkage of the volume by formalin. Always remember what happens when you have, I mean, if you have encountered osmolarity, what, what happens if you have an, an, a smaller f uh, a cell in an, a smaller uh, hyper, kanang, hyper or smaller na solution what will happen is it will shrink meaning pag hyper or smaller meaning there are a lot of dissolved substances within the solution in the cellular environment so it will tend to shrink so kato and then if you have a hyper or smaller na na environment around it will tend to um swell na so so kato and since our formalin is most of the time hyper or smaller so our cells tend to shrink and apart from that, like I said earlier, the what will happen when the mechanism of action of formalin to preserve the tissues, it will try to make the cellular architecture more rigid. So more rigid and more compact in a sense that katong mga, there are tiny gaps within the scaffolding of your cell to try to compress it and uh, get us, uh, compress it to make a more solid structure. So there is hardening of the tissue, like I said earlier, it's due in part, uh, due, due in part sa on sa katong cross linking sa to ang mga proteins. Tapos some fixatives can inhibit um, routine stain, like your osmium tetroxide. It inhibits your hematoxylin and eosin, but <laughs> This os osmium tetroxide is a very rare and expensive fixative. It only is used for electron microscopy. And as far as I know, there is only one. <laughs> we don't really use electron microscopy as much, especially here in Mindanao, in Philippines, Siguro, maybe. So, so Manila lang. And it's most, pro most used, so targeted against the mga renal mga kidney na mga pathology no Ito. so changes in optical density by fixation and nuclei may look hyperchromatic so next slide so this is a short table so how to the types of fixatives no we have nature of fixation so we have immersion fixation so immersion fixation is just you this is a piece of tissue and then you immerse it in the fixative like what we usually do no so we put the piece of tissue the one that we got from the patient no either nipon bana mata ilong itlog tinae ovaries no tanan we immerse it in your fixative at least um so gregorius no book it's 10 to 20 times the volume no, so it's really ne it really needs to be a lot but in this book that I'm using it's 20 they're firm at using 20 times the volume you immerse it no? so we have another type we have coating fixation we usually do this in uh, I've read that you use this in pop smear once we put the swab no pop smear is when we take samples of the patient the female patients um, cervix especially the transformation zone cervical vagina i sorry, cervical tissue rather cervical tissue sa iyang or kato sa taas sa vagina then we get the transformation zone from squamous to columnar epithelia we get it there and then 
as I read, you can spray some fixative on the slide, no? So vapor fixation, I have yet to encounter this. Perfusion fixation, still I have yet to encounter this. And freeze drying. Freeze drying is um, one of my, <laughs> it's one of things that I'm, well, um, I'm, well, kind of, I'm very familiar with. We always, uh, we have a lot of frozen section biopsies in the, in our lab. And what happens in that is, same with, same with other types of fixative, but instead of making cross-linking, uh, cross-linkages between the proteins or removing the water um, in your alcohol, no fixative, it just forces it to be frozen, Diane. So once a thing is frozen, always remember, if the temperature goes down, all your metabolic processes will halt no so when you force the temperature to go negative to zero then your all your metabolic processes will eventually stop no thus um, it will inhibit autolysis na and of course it will inhibit po the putrefaction because even though if na yung mga bacteria na nasa laag dito they are still they are still kanang bound by the law of physics no sa thermodynamics no pag na frozen na siya ang enzyme enzymes will actually do stuff na po. So, dili na po ma-decay po ang tissue. And what happens, ma magahi na po tong tissue. And then, if it's hard, then we can already cut it, no? To make rapid slides. Though, it is fast. It is very fast compared to our traditional fixation. It also comes with a lot of drawbacks. One of the drawbacks is there are a lot of um, artifacts. And number two, it's very hard to make um, consistent um, consistent ribbons we shall talk about this more on microtomy no the time that we're gonna cut the tissue now next we have chemical properties no so we have aldehyde which is the most common formaldehyde and glutaraldehyde we have oxidizing agent osmium tetroxide protein denaturating agents we have our alcohols so, cross-linking agents, carbodimide, miscellaneous picric acid. Um, so, this last two, this cross-linking agents in the miscellaneous picric acid as example, it's very, wala pa ako naka-encounter niya. Maybe in the higher institutions, there are, um, abroad, there are, for because they have their own benefits. So, kato, so, and then there, we can have the component present, no, if simple. Like your formaldehyde, pure formaldehyde, which is, I highly doubt you can find pure formaldehyde no, in histopathologic labs. It's always phosphate buffered because pH, as once you hear a buffer in whatever you hear in whatever solution, buffer means simply put is to make sure that the pH stays the, the same. no. So if you have a target pH of an alkaline you target a pH to stay at 8 um, it's really hard for some solutions because there are al always spontaneous reactions leading to an increase in pH or a decrease in pH that's why we use buffers from the name itself they buffer meaning they they react to these spontaneous reactions to these foreign reactions no to make sure that even though there are other triggering factors to alter the pH the, in when there are buffers they try there is still negligible to none at all changes in the pH so kato formaldehyde ethyl alcohol yes it's true your ethyl alcohol is used mostly in blood smears no same on peripheral blood smears that was kato glutaraldehyde um, formaldehyde and glutaraldehyde are technically the same. They, they have, um, for one, glutaraldehyde is more expensive. And number two, formaldehyde is very irritating to the, tanan, na um, from the nose to the skin to the eyes. It's very irritating, no? Magluha-luha na ka, mag-cut lang ka, appendix, luha-luha ka, nagaputol ka, tinain, no? Magluha-luha ka. Ma-feel yun ni mo, nag-cut ka o breast, talo, luwa-luwa ka. 
sa so, gani magtanaw maghunong sa mi magpa aircon sa mi mata pa uga lang baka gatulo-tulo na jud among luha no so very irritating jud ning formaldehyde if the advantage of your glutaraldehyde no it is there's less but it's very expensive no compared to your formaldehyde and another thing we can use glutaraldehyde for your electron microscopy so kato so if it's simple kato lang siya ang active ingredient lang ang naa but if it's a compound meaning there is more than one chemical present so that's your Bowen solution uh, Bowen's fluid and your Carnois solution so at the end of the day your fixative only acts on the proteins because the proteins are the structural um, components, bio, bio, biochemicals of your cell. No? So you really need to stabilize the proteins and you really need to add inhibit or inhibit or amplify the your proteins no? it, or enzymes. No? So, so you have your coagulative, your ethyl alcohol and your non-coagulative your formaldehyde and osmium tetoxide we will talk about how they will work in the next slide so all right so so the mechanism of fixation so we have dehydration and coagulation of protein so methanol and ethanol are alcohols now they have an OH group and if you remember in your biochem this OH group OH group has like they have a uh, hydro they they attract water right? because of their they are they are quite hydrophilic no? they quite attract water so what happens is if you're gonna remember our our we're gonna remember the structure of your protein. So over here. So if we're gonna remember the structure of your protein, remember that in your uh, no. sorry. The structure of your protein you have your primary protein structure which is composed of your which is composed of the sequence of chains of your amino acid no so that's your amino acid sequence no? so met met mention ng first diba we met in august methionine proline lysine blah 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 that's their sequence of your amino acids and then That's a sequence of your amino acids, no? So... That's a sequence of your amino acids, so... Um, primary protein structure. And then, once there is folding na, eventually there will become a fold, no? Because of the there is attractions between the side chains of your your amino acids so eventually mag either mag ano sila alpha helix no this one or your beta pleated so kato and then then there is your tertiary protein structure which is the three dimensional so think of it as here's your amino acid um, primary amino acid na, 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 na. and then this is your primary then this is your secondary and then this is your tertiary <laughs> 3D na siya. and then next is your quaternary na. your quaternary if, if there is already more than one protein magdikit dikit na siya na na mga cofactor etc na. so kato and then what happens in denaturation? 
what happens in the naturation is in between those in between those in between those kanang cells uh, in between those protein strands no if if the the type of denaturation is dehydrogenation it's gonna remove liquid pockets because in between any na mga strand in between sa mga ana na strands in between those strands of protein in between those strands of protein there is there are water kita kita mo aning loops no wait lang marlisa cha explain wait technical difficulties ayun Oh, hello na no? so in between th- this individual amino acids no and then magfold na siya either alpha helix or beta pleated in between those strands of kanang mga helix niya no na yung mga coil in between those natay mga water molecules diha and and in between the split even though dikit kay siya there are still water molecules diha what happens If you remove those proteins, no, if you remove those proteins, ay, ay katong water di ay, if you remove those water, if na alcohol, what happens is you're disrupting the secondary protein structure and eventually you're gonna disrupt sa unsa, hantod sa quaternary na protein structure, no, okay, wa, going upward man siya. It will be disrupted na because you remove the water because they rely on that water. In this molecular scale na no kanang gagmay na kaayo. Water is rather of course it's a liquid but other molecules biomolecules rely on water so that ma produce ilang structure. Think of it as a water bed no. Kunya kung gitanggal ng tubig diha wala na mag collapse na tong water bed no. So like same principle. That's how your alcohol your kills your bacteria because it coagulates the protein. So coagulation meaning nagkumpol kumpol lang siya nag so kato nag nagkumpol kumpol na siya. So there are a lot of ways to achieve your coagulation same with heating. Um tanawin na imong itlog kanang itlog na pinerito sa ni side up if you're gonna heat it the protein around it the albumin it will co- become coagulated and eventually that's gonna be your egg white. And then you can also do acid. No so daghag type daghag ways to coagulate protein. So that's how alcohol kills bacteria, no? It removes the the water from the surrounding kato area of protein sa imong bacteria. And that is why nga no mo bugnaw imong pamina kung maghaplas ka og alcohol because and if you're gonna put it here, tanang water in the surrounding area will go to it. That's why it has a cooling effect, but Once nag evaporate na ang water and ang alcohol na gitapok, remember alcohol as a very is evaporates easily. It attracts, it brings the water to the atmosphere, no? So ang ending ana, especially pag wala yung moisturizer yung mong alcohol, magka dry skin kayo ka after, no? Di taganahan na na, no? So kato. So that's how it coagulates your protein. So going back no so this is the normal protein na siya mga beta beta sheets na siya tanan no mga alpha helix. Tangan mo nag alcohol ang mabili na lang is your primary structure. Your individual amino acid na sequence na siya. You cannot break that down using kanang mga unsa mga alcohol mga coagulants. You need enzymes to break those down no because your um, amino bonds no kanang mga peptide bonds ni mo is quite kanang dikit kay na sila quite strong so next is so this is what happens to your alcohol no the nature na ang protein but it doesn't mean na it doesn't mean na mahitabo doesn't mean na ang histologic na bigger picture ang bigger picture kay nadaot na pud iya hang structure this will still um the cell will still have its morphology example if it's a columnar it's still gonna be a columnar cell 
no even though na denature na iyahang protein so kato this is only on the molecular level so this is how your alcohol works and this is how your aldehyde works so what happens in your normal protein iba kani mga protein na siya kani alpha helix man daw ni daw alpha helix and then what happens it's uh, your aldehyde forms methyl um methyl linkages no in between your mga lysine na side side chain no so magdikit na mo if na kay mga lysine diha na amino acid no magdikit na siya to another lysine We're gonna form methyl bridges sa imuhang sa imuhang ultimate structure ay sa imuhang ultra structure no gonna form methyl bridges that's how your formalin and uh, your formaldehyde and your glutaraldehyde work in contrast to your denaturation no which is your alcohol and heat no so kana so in this aldehyde fixative you still is the the primary structure is still present of course the secondary s- structure is also still present no but there are alterations gapon but with this dili lang gyapon maka process imuhang enzymes to do what they want to do they 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 can still um um e- uh, effectively patay na po ng cell even though na po gyapon ilang secondary and tertiary na mga structure because remember your proteins are highly kanang fluid kumbaga no they have they they need to move around and once you inhibit them from moving around they die no they won't serve their purpose and eventually the cell will die so that's how the aldehyde kills the cell <laughs> same with your bacteria mo mapatay pud ni imong bacteria all right so going back so the mechanism of fixation dehydration and coagulation of protein your methanol and ethanol attracts water via hydrogen bonds no like i said Late earlier na hydrophilic siya cross linking fixatives is your aldehydes no? it forms methylene bridges between amino acids leading to a more rigid structure so so factors affecting fixation a neutral ph is preferable uh, ph 6 to 8 is the best range because it is somewhat near to the physiologic pH. High acidity or alkalinity interferes with fixation. So room temperature suitable for routine work. High temperature facilitates fixation. What happens if there's higher temperature? In general, if there is a higher temperature in the body or in any chemical equation, there will be an increase in the movement of your molecules in the solution and if it, there are incre- there is increased mole- movement of the molecules there will be also increased kanang magbangga ganing mga molecules random man sila molihok pag mas dagag ang bangga mas dagag chemical reaction leading to a faster chemical reaction leading to a faster <laughs> kana processing no facil- faster f- fixation so duration of fixation um, pag low temperature for enzyme histochemistry but like I said um kani siya dili pa ko familiar pa po dani wa pa po ko naka encounter aning enzyme histochemistry no so kato next is your depth of penetration of fixative so what does this mean no depth of penetration meaning um how remember that your example your your formalin is a solution and na like finite amount of formalin na molecules di sa sulod no inside the water so ang ang depth of invasion is kato mga formalin molecules musulod dito sa tissue para magform og methylene bridges so kana no kung gaon sa sila kalalumba kana di ba ang pag pag marinate niya pag dili kayo ni ang ang tuyo di ba makita nato kung lami kayo pag marinate ko pag cut nato sa pork chop no pag kita nato sa tunga tunga nag brown brown na pud ta kay nanuot ng tuyo same with the it's the same um with your formalin no so 
depth of penetration ang tawag ng marination no kana kung gawon sa ka, kalalo mo sulod ang formalin so imo ang depth sa imo hang formalin it can fix 1 mm no kung gawon sa kabagaon ang specimen it is um dependent uh, formalin uh, fixation and formalin is dependent on how thick specimen is no so if you have a 5 mm millimeter specimen 5 by 5 and then and then knowing that formalin fixes 1 mm per hour meaning that um, piece of tissue na 5 mm is fully fixed na within 5 hours meaning tanang cells ana tanang tissues ana kompleto na siya methylene bridge no so it's a fully fixed no pero usahay pa kay well of course there are some small specimens na 5 mm lang but most of the time pag kanang mga dagko dagko di kay na sila so na mga breast na dagko kayo na mga bone na mga tinae really needs to have a fixation a longer fixation time and you really need to um replace the formalin because makonsume lagi ng formalin na no? so what happens if makonsume siya ba mura limit like I said earlier limited lang ang formalin molecules and once they have di- done their job na magform ng methylene bridges mawala sila uh, be con- they'll be converted to another molecule na no? so ma- mahurot lang yun siya eventually if labi na pagdako kayo so really you really need to replace it no from time to time so kato kani ang osmolarity of fixative solution like i said earlier pag hypertonic mag shrink siya tapos kung hypotonic cell swelling no so this cell swelling is usually seen in your glacial acetic acid na fixatives but we rarely use it the best hypertonic is 400 to 450 milliosmoles concentration Um, milder concentrate, mild lower concentration with neutral pH is preferable. Very low concentration prolongs the fixation time because, like I said earlier, the more molecules you have to attack those unsa those tissues, the faster your fixation. But if gamay lang, <laughs> kato, um, if gamay lang, um. Mm, mas dugay siya kay of course less molecules but what happens if very high concentration with undesirable effect and undesirable effect what happens if dili in evenly ma fixate meaning since daghan kay sila ma saturate nila dayon ay ang outer portion sa tissue if, especially if it's a big tissue mino mo ang sa gawas lang ang na fix ang susulod hilaw pa wala pa na marinate no so dapat na jud siya kanang tamang timpla para kana ego ego iya hang penetration penetration so kato so agitation so there are um uh, there are three tips that I can give you how to make the chemical reaction faster number one you increase the amount of kato components concentration of components But of course, there's an undesirable effect. In general, ni siya. Number two, you can use heat, no? So in comparison ni mo sa ang, ang kanang magkutaw ka og asukal sa bugnaw na tubig versus sa uh, ininit na kape, di ba mas dali matunaw ang uh, sugar? Um, notice na mas dali matunaw ang asukal sa uh, init na kape, di ba? That's because there is heat, no? There is increased um There are more chemical reactions because heat increases chemical reactions exponentially. And last but not the least is agitation. Can I look at it? You need more. Mechanical agitation, same with your heat, um, mixes up, no, agitates the solution, leading to more um, clashes between your molecules, leading to more chemical reactions, no. So. Ano dili man, um, 'di ba? Pag kita kag asukal ka pini mo, nya butangan nimo og asukal, ato na dayon. Pero once ko tawo nimo na siya, apastos na kay na mo. 'Di ba? Katulo lang na ko tawo, mahilis dayon ang asukal no. So versus no. So kato. So unlike sa imong tubig na bugna, butangan nimo siya og asukal, ko tawo nimo siya, 
though na ay unsa matuno gihapon siya it's not as fast as your hot na solution so kato so i think kanila siya no agitation increases rate of penetration rapid agitation damages delicate tissue i think that's common sense na lang no so ang pinaka ideal is your slow and gentle agitation kanina mo na ni mo na siya no so commonly used fixatives na to sa laboratory duha isa lang yun atong ginagamit yun sige for for the most part no routine work na to is your formalin Forma, uh, formaldehyde is formaldehyde wala kay makit ang 100% formalin no ay formaldehyde ay formaldehyde because formaldehyde in its pure form is a gas no gas na siya so kana siyang gas na na 100% pure formaldehyde na gas mukuha tag 40% ana nya ihalo na to sa tubig so that's now your 100% formalin formalin is the gas infused water no so mo na siyang 100% formalin 100% formalin which is 40% formaldehyde gets libog mind blow no so kana so kung magingon sila na pure formaldehyde na excuse me no magingon na excuse me no formaldehyde is gas in its purest form maybe you mean 40% formaldehyde which is 100% formalin mo na din ka so 10% of this formalin is used to make neutral buffered formalin So out of katong 40% formaldehyde solution which is your 100% formalin, 10% will be taken to make your neutral buffered formalin which is our routine formalin, no? So, na mention natin ni ganiha, it reacts with various side chain of the protein and forms hydroxymethylene methyl group that subsequently crosslinks to form Di ba makita? To form hydroxymethylene bridge, subsequent intermolecular and intramolecular cross-linking of the molecules occurs and ultimately produce an uh, insoluble product. Meaning, anong insoluble product, di na siya malusaw, no? Solid na kayo siya. Kanang. Insoluble na siya, di na siya ma... Imong, uh, kato, di na siya ma-dissolve. <laughs> So, rate of penetration, we talked about this earlier, 1 mm per hour, and then amount of formalin should be 20 times the volume of tissue. So, advantages na to. Our advantages are high penetration rate. High penetration rate. Um, Well-preserved morphology, cheap. Of course, um, if you're gonna buy it in bulk, of course, it's gonna be cheap, no? And then, stable po siya. By meaning, anong stable, mga specimen na mabiyaan ni mo, kanang mga tulok adlaw, lima ka adlaw, pulo ka bulan. <laughs> Gabi yung ng pulo ka bulan. But, more or less, it's gonna be still the same, no? Of course, ma- of course mag-shrink din siya somewhat madugay. But, more or less, it's still acceptable. If di ka nang, ka nang mga... 3 days, ana 4 days, okay ra na siya. Disadvantages niya, medyo slow jud yung fixation. You really you really need ka nang sa jud a long time. Tapos na tay formalin reaction. So pag pagtanggalon lang nimo ang i-wash nimo siya, pwede na to ma-break ang methylene bridges and then if i ma-break ang methylene bridges, pwede na siya malata na pud no. And then fails to preserve acid mucopolysaccharides not good for staining of fat and enzymes that goes to your glutaraldehyde no pwede sa fat ang glutaraldehyde and osmium tetroxide highly vascular tissue may have dark brown granules because it oxidizes and lyses your blood uh, delete that wrong 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 scratch that scratch that exposure to skin may cause dermatitis and chronic inhalation may cause bronchitis mauta ng medtech kung tanang pathologist na nagaga naga autopsy autopsy pa Tao ni mo na sila na sa sila sinusitis tanan no. <laughs> Sige na sila baga na kaya sila mga sinus. Oh. 
mga, li- mga lining sa sinus no? so next na to is your glutaral dehyde no wait technical difficulty Ayan. Glutaraldehyde is used as a fixative for electron microscopy. Wait lang, wait lang. Nana ba siya? Alright. So. Good to go. Glutaraldehyde is used as a fixative for electron microscopy because it fixes and preserves the ultra structure, no? Same as your formalin. The fix, um, fixation occurs due to extensive cross-linking of proteins. The penetration power of glutaraldehyde is poor and therefore small amounts of tissue lang ay mong magamit. But however, however, it does not react with lipid or carbohydrate. So it should always be used in combination with other fixatives. No? Advantages. So better in fixation of the ultra stop. Sure, less cell shrinkage, preservation of protein is better. Kaya yun ang number one, yun ako na advantage yun niya. Dili yun siya maka-irritate. Kaya promise, kapoy na dyan kayo na ka ng sige lang kag-sipon, na yung COVID ba, ayun, maalaan dahil kang COVID ka. And apart from that, it's very irritating to the eyes. But, the thing is, with glutaraldehyde, if you can, ka nang overlook, uh, no lipid fixation din siya. I take back what I said. Osmium tetroxide lang na itong for lipid, no? Um, if you can overlook the katong disadvantage of formalin na medyo irritating siya sa ilong o sa skin, no? I de- I, technically, it's just the same, no? But the thing is, um, ang advantage po sa glutaraldehyde is you can use it for electron microscopy. But, kato, we don't usually use electron microscopy here. So it's not a very, it's not a very vi- viable option for us. Oh, can you do number five? Oh, it's costly. No, very costly. Next is a uh, short table. No, so can you If we're gonna look at Gregorius, is a is a hundred niya ni tanan, but. Uh, uh, the thing with Gregorius is dugay na mangud kay siya from the last na publish mga 2008 pa ato tong last na ko nakabalo and ato ang mga references dapat is dapat kanang as late uh, as early as possible so this book i'm using is 2018 yang publish so sulod pa siya no so good pa siya so just a rundown on what are usual na mga preserve uh, fixatives na ginagamit no so of course dili jud nato malintan si buffered formalin no so the buffer that we use to atong formalin is usually our phosphate buffer to maintain it at that katong pH na ideal good 6 to 8 pH no so kato is is your phosphate compo- phosphate buffer component no disodium hydrogen phosphate so kato so advantages disadvantages kato fails to preserve um acid and then nako kay dark brown granules sa uh, imong vascular tissue so kato glutaraldehyde best for electron microscopy costly so this is your tetrum osmium tetroxide it's it's uh it's good for your electron microscopy and it is a good fixative for lipids so fast on salang na siya na high yield na knowledge but like I said earlier wala pa ako naka-encounter aning osmium tetroxide maybe in the higher facilities kana sa mga US or mga kanang mga dakong hospital sa Manila but as far as I remember we rarely do electron microscopy no? ethyl alcohol so cytology smear sa atong mga FNAB sa mga PBS ana, cytology man dyan po na siya Bowen's fixative, picric acid tapos so good for tricrate um, this picric acid always remember that it always produces your yellow stain no? it's one of the disadvantages to Nia and your picric acid is explosive no? so there are <laughs> if we're not careful may, na yung mga instances mga, na sa una mga karaan, karaan pa ng mga panahon 
gi-flash lang nila ng picric acid nila sa ilang mga sewage ay kanang mga ano ba lababo ba nag nagform ng salts tong picric acid nimo dito sa sa mga lead pa ganito metallic pa ganito ilang mga plumbing sa una sa dihang ni react man sa one time ni buto ni buto tanan ila hang unsa tanan ila hay mga pipe ay di tabla sila tanan <laughs> so therefore no use picric acid no dili nimo na siya ilabay ang picric acid na effective nimo sa lababo lang ginabutang nimo na siya separate na amber colored na glass bottle kana jud ako ma-remember ang picric acid no kato zincers kaning zincers una una ay siya jud ang past test jud no rapidly acting jud ni siya it, this has your glacial acetic as, uh, acid no pwede siya makapatambok sa imuhang um makapatambok sa imuhang RBC and ay makapatambok sa imong cells because glacial acetic acid is hypochrom um hypo osmolar no so it might produce cellular swelling but it is counteracted by your mercury chloride no so but if glacial acetic acid alone pwede siya magswelling but since na counteract siya sa imong mercury chloride most more or less na same lang gihapon iya hang ang iyang morphology not swollen not pod shrink i shrunk no so kato rapid acting yun yung zincers ni mo so of course mercury is poisonous <laughs> next na to is <coughs> so for routine histopathology of course what at ila india formally na na dito no formally na electron microscopy glutaraldehyde or katong osmium tetoxide so immunohistochemistry which i will be teaching again no so either formalin is enough na no and then kato alcoholic formalin kaning kaning duha immunofluorescence og enzyme immunohistochemistry ffp uh, fresh frozen section kato kung yung ganiya frozen section Next na to is your kane. I'm not gonna delve into that na. Nice to know na na. <laughs> so fixation artifact. So formalin pigments are black granular refractile. I retractile by f pigment due to reaction of formalin with your hemoglobin derivatives. Mauto sa imong blood vessels mag brown brown siya mercury pigments imong zincers no tapos fuzzy staining due to improper fixation kato lagi katong wala dayon siya na antos imuhang fixative that's what you call our cold ischemia time ischemia meaning lack of blood flow leading to hypoxia so cold meaning tanggal sa body cold na siya dili na siya warm that's your cold ischemia time it affects lots of um tests especially your immunohistochemistry ato so to prolong fixation so mag shrink siya tungod sa kadugay and then the chromate deposit so formalin pigment so how do you do that formic acid re reacts with your hemo hemoglobin derivatives leading to acid formaldehyde hematin so use Look, oh, formic acid, no? Nag-form na siya o acid because formaldehyde will eventually be oxidized, uh, uh, oxi uh, oxidized ba? Will eventually become formic acid if dili buffered in mohang solution. That's why you really need to use mohang, ito, buffered formalin with your phosphate buffer. How to remove? Treat with 1.8 picric acid in ethyl alcohol. So, ito, picric acid is an explosive. Alright, so next page. So troubleshooting in fixation. So the nuclear margin is indistinct and nuclei are fuzzy with bubbling. So incomplete fixation. Keep the concentration check of the concentration of formalin. Keep more time in formalin fixation. Do not cut thin section for fixation. Do not put way too many cassettes together. So to. So, kanang nuclear margin is indistinct and kanang fuzzy. 
may tabo nag start na siya karyorexis no so meaning naga fragment na iyang nucleus tungod sa autolysis na siya no may tabo na manggo no katalagay tungod kay since wala siya na, na fix immediately na pa mga metabolic processes na naga on naga continue leading to a decrease in your ATP pag mo decrease in mga ATP sooner or later mag apoptosis yun na ng mga cells no to so tissue shrinkage with large artifactual spaces poor fixation and prolonged fixation proper fixation time kato katong ato ang formalin pigments and then intraepithelial plug so what is our takeaway no actually sa Gregorius class daghan pa jud kaayo ni silag man sa daghan na jud kaayo mo gi record yula tanang fixative known to man but mm, i advise you since our time is limited pud and our uh, of course our time is limited and even though i want to teach you all of it isa isa ko na to to uh, i i think na dili pud na to makhandle pud dili pud siya ato ka efficient no so this is what um a hype apart from that lagi katong gregorius the book itself is uh very dugay na kaayo no dugay na siya kaayo so if maybe ma question pud ta why are we still using that book even though it is published karaan na kaayo to panahon pa guna ko to panahon pa tong dukia no so i'm using a more recent book which is more up to date which is based ako ang pathology na residency practice at par man pud siya no kung sa mo practice more or less same lang mangihapon wala na kayo nag delve into the mga katong mga archaic practices so i advise you to read my powerpoint and i'm gonna send you the book lang gihapon sa telegram so that you have have a copy if you have any questions just um ask me tapos kato don't worry <laughs> okay man pud akong quest pud sige good night class and god bless